Well, I, I want to go back to your controversial comments on the possibility of a Muslim president. The question seemed quite clear. The question was, should a president's faith matter? You said, I guess it depends on what that faith is. The question was, so do you believe that Islam is consistent with the Constitution? And you said, no, I do not. I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation. I absolutely would not agree with that. Do you stand by that now? Well, first of all, you know, what I said is on a transcript, and it's there for anybody to I'm see. I'm reading the transcript, uh, Dr. I, I, Carson. That's exactly what you said. No, read the, read the paragraph before that, where I said anybody, it doesn't matter what their religious background, if they accept American values and principles and are willing to subjugate their religious beliefs to our Constitution, I have no problem with them. Why, why did you guys always leave that part out, I wonder? I, I, I don't think we do, Dr. Carson, and it really was quite clear I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation. Y you also talked about Sharia law, that they must denounce Sharia law. Do you assume that all Muslims embrace Sharia law? Well, let's, what we should be talking about is Islam and the tenets of Islam. And where do they come from? They come from Sharia. They come from the Koran. They come from, uh, you know, the life works and examples of Muhammad. They come from the fatwas, which is the, the writings of the scholars. Uh, you know, and if you go back and you look at what I would like for somebody to show me is an approved Islamic text that opposes Sharia. Let me see, if, if you can show me that, I will begin to alter my thinking on this. But right now, when you have something that is against the rights of women, or against the rights of gays, subjugates other religions, and a host of things that are not compatible with our Constitution, why, in fact, would you take that chance? And, and just one final question. Kanye West told an interviewer earlier this month that when he heard you speak, he thought you were the most brilliant guy and he tried to call you. First of all, I want to know whether you got in touch in the last few weeks and what you think of him, whether you'd like him to help out with your campaign. Well, I did have an opportunity to talk with him. I was extremely impressed with his business acumen. He knows a lot about business. And, uh, you know, I talked to him about the possibility of maybe himself and some of the other uh, people in the pop culture uh, doing some, some music that might be uplifting, that might give young women a sense of their value and young men a sense of responsibility, I think it could be a tremendous thing in our society. Do you think you'd be a good president someday? 2020? Uh, well, uh, I'm certainly willing to give him a chance. We'll see. He'll be able to explain things and see if he resonates with the people. Okay, thanks very much for joining us, Dr. Carson. A pleasure.